bitch get the fit off Chevy fast might lift off Bitch ain't no a big dog She can't keep her hands off I been grinding all week Ain't got no time to sleep Shooting my shot like I play for the league Young nigga can't take no days off uh, Stick to the plan Stick it up. Count it up, run through the bands Young nigga Stick to the plan Stick it up. Count it up, run through the bands Young nigga Stick to the plan Stick it up. Count it up, run through the bands Young nigga Stick to the plan Lord, I can't take What's going on, guys? Back with another one, Tough Enough TV Back with another one But before we get started I need y'all to hit that subscribe button Comment, hit that thumbs up, and turn on your notification bell, and comment below if I ain't already said it before we get started. But I got my dog here, my bro, for a long time, Spencer Davis, uh, coaching now, but he did some time in the CFL. What's going on, man? Yo, yo, what's up with it, man? I'm glad to be here. Glad to be Always. here. Always. Appreciate it. But let's talk about your career, man. Let's start off there. You won state in high school. You're probably the, yeah, fastest, probably the fastest in the city. Hey, look, man, I let, I let people put a tag on it, man, how they want to, you know what I'm saying? But I, it, it, I, I will say this, man, speed was was probably my outlet, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't the tallest, so speed was kind of my backing, you know, to help me get to where I went. Uh, speaking on speaking on the career, you know, high school, Hazelwood Central, two-time state champ, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, I, I got to throw that out there. That, that ain't going to never die. Uh, but, yeah, man, like I said, graduate 2010. So I, 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 you know, I put up some good numbers at Central. Played DB. I ended up going to CMO on a full ride. Uh, still Division One ball. It's D1 AA, but it's still D1 ball. People don't know the difference. Right. Uh, we we played everybody, man. Old Miss, Central Michigan, Purdue, Kansas. It don't matter. Right. Uh, I, I put up all the stats at CMO, man. I'm still the um the lead. I'm still leading, man, in, in career all purpose yards at CMO. Right. Uh, so that's that's four years strong, and then you know. Try to take that NFL route like everybody else. That was my goal, but I went through the combine. I signed with an agency. I did all that, man, and trained. I went down to Florida. I was in Detroit, kind of bounced around, uh, did the pro day thing, and it came down to seven teams in the league, man, but, you know, it's a policy game, and it's, it's cutthroat. Trying to get in the NFL is cutthroat, so. For sure, for sure. Uh, uh, your, time at, uh, your time at SEMO, you made ESPN top 10, people, if you don't know. My dog made ESPN top 10. Hey, listen, shit. Like I said, man, hey, I, I just, you put the ball in my hands, man, I'm going to do what I do. You know hey, what I mean? Hope, hopefully I can find that clip and I can drop it in here. But yeah. Hey, most definitely, most definitely. You know, if not, you can put that, that, that punt return from the state game on there too, though. You know? Facts. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Straight up. Thanks. But um, what other offers did you have coming out of high school, you know, before signing with CMO? Uh, what's crazy, man, uh, Mizzou was probably my biggest one. That's where I really wanted to go. It was Mizzou, uh, Eastern Illinois, Missouri State, and CMO. Mm -hmm. What people don't understand, man, like kids nowadays, it, look, that was 10 years ago. Nowadays, man, these kids get scholarships left and right from Bama, Clemson, LSU. Mm -hmm. I go down the list. You feel me? But, I mean, playing when I played in my era, some of the kids wouldn't last, though. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And me being a coach, I see it. But well, it was a different time back then, so it was a lot harder to get recruited. Yeah. And again, I went to Central. Man, I had about 10 cats that you could think of that was Division One, you know, caliber athletes. Right. So we, we, had, we had a loaded team. Yeah, MJ. Shout out my guy, MJ. Yeah. So we had, a, we had a loaded team, man. And I right, talent speak for itself, but uh, it wasn't – it was the recruiting in St. Louis wasn't heavy like it is now. You know what right. I'm saying? So, uh, man, Seymour gave my first offer, and right, they told me, you're going to play right away. That was the, the green light for me. That that's what, what made me like, okay, yeah. It, and it was a family environment too. So Yeah. So you got a little man behind you. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm trying to keep him quiet, man. Shoot. He he might get a little cameo appearance. <laughs> trying to keep him quiet though. For sure. Um, what would you say now you're on the coaching side of things, what would you say the biggest thing, what's the biggest difference from recruiting now? Cause I know like you said, recruiting was hard for us. You graduated in 10, I graduated in 12, and Huddle came around my last year in high school with, along with Instagram. Do you think, like, the social media is helping the kids get recruited? Oh, definitely, big time, man. See, see when, I was, when I was coming out, you ain't have um, the social media, the Twitter, the Instagram, and nowadays, Twitter mainly is probably the biggest tool for college coaches to recruit high school athletes. Uh, I could easily put my highlight tape. I mean, then again, I create a highlight on Huddle. I could easily put that on social media, 
and bam, I got you know hundred, I got hundreds of people watching my my highlight. One of these coaches might take a peek at it, and that's kind of how a lot of these kids get recruited too, man. It's, it's not no, so much of uh, who you know now. It's it's just yo yo social media account, yo yo your digital uh, footprint is what what you know everybody put a stamp on it. But like I said, like you create a highlight, put that on there, man. Everybody watching this, one person can see it, they send it to the next person, and now yo your whole highlight getting shuffled around. And it's it's like I said, it's easier now, man. We had to sit back and watch film on DVDs, fast forward, rewind. It wasn't none of that, you know what I mean? And if I want to send my highlight tape out, I got to mail my stuff off. It wasn't, it wasn't like it is now, you know what I'm saying? Great email address, and hopefully they see it, you know. If you exactly. If you it, okay. um, uh, for sure. Tell us about your experience at the CMO, um, the NFL. You didn't go to the NFL, but you ended up making getting the opportunity in the CFL. Tell us what's that about, because a lot of people may not know the CFL is probably the next best thing to the NFL. Yeah, keep it real, man. To be honest, uh, like I said, man, NFL, they they kind of played their game how it was. It's all politics at the end of the day. Uh, I'm undersized, but uh, man, I did a couple workouts for the CFL. Oh, uh, my bad. Uh, there you go. There you go. But yeah, say what's up, man? What's up, man? Yeah. Uh, so I did a, I did a couple workouts, man, throughout my training process in the middle of my my pro day and my combine and all that with a couple CFL teams and. Basically, man, my agent told me we need to get a contract. I don't want you to sign. We need to get a contract, and that is so that they're interesting. So, mm -hmm. long story short, man, the season was going on. Um, CFL starting June, and I got picked up late. Uh, I still got my, I still got my opportunity though. They flew me out. Uh, I actually had to do a workout for the Blue Bombers twice. Mm -hmm. uh, but once I got my second workout in, they like, man, come on with it, let's go. I got that opportunity to fly up to Winnipeg, man, and see how you know different parts of the world live and get that experience. It's cold. I will say that, but I enjoyed it, man. It's it's football, football at the end of the day. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? People out there to provide for their family, to get their get they grub on and eat yeah. and, you know, make their money. But uh, it, it was a good experience for me, man, because, like I said, I got to go up there and compete with a lot of different athletes, cats that were playing the league, bounced around, Bama, LSU, you know, the top tier type athletes. Yeah. But uh, for me, it was a good experience, man, to get up and do that and uh, you know, actually say I got I got a chance to play pro ball, man. For sure, that was big. It was big because, uh, like I said, I was in college when you did that. I'm like, damn, I ain't really know much about the CFL. You was the first cat I knew that touched the CFL, so I'm like, damn, that's another outlet. You know, if that's don't mm -hmm. work, you know. then of course and a lot of a lot of people. My bad. A lot, a lot of people don't really like a lot of kids coming out, man. They they want they see the NFL and they see millions of dollars, but shoot, it, not everybody gonna make that million dollars. You know what I'm saying? If you want to keep balling, man, you better try to go up north. Because yeah. if the league don't call, you still got an opportunity. And right. you can make some decent money in the CFL as well. Right, exactly. So, no, that was definitely. Then my, I had got a coach that came down to our school. He played with um, Cameron Wake. Okay. He was in the CFL before Cameron Wake came over. He was telling us about it. He back up there now with uh, Edmonton coaching and stuff. So That's yeah. tough. That's yeah. tough. Um, so, now you – you coaching now. You was with Corner Riddle last year. Y'all had some good runs. Y'all went to state. Did y'all end up winning that year? No, nah, we lost. It was a 45-19 in the Trinity. 49, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. So that's now, so now where you finna be coaching at? You moving on from Corner Riddle. Where you going now? So now I'm actually uh back at the stopping grounds, man. I'm at Central. Yes, yeah, I'm back back at Hazel Central, man. So I'm over there with Kerry, man. He got a, a solid staff. Uh, we got a, a decent group of guys, man, and we trying to – we actually been meeting back and forth, you know, all this this virus and it hit, so kind of put a lot of things on the standstill. But we've been meeting, man, trying to keep these kids active, um, you know, in the playbook, film, study, the whole nine. So when we do hit the field, yeah. we can hit it 100 miles yeah. a run. You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 been good, man, for me. Um, I also coach track up there as well. Mm -hmm. um, it was good because the position opened up and I ended up getting into the building. So now I had a, you know, a two-way grab with these kids. I got you in the classroom, I got you on the field and on the track. Uh, but it was, it was, it was a no-brainer for me, man, to go back to Central, um, to, to, to put it back on the map to what it used to be. Yeah. One, because you speak on high school football, and Central was always the talk of the town. Now it's a little different story, but uh, that's why I'm glad I'm back, you know, try to get some, some a couple of these kids to stay instead of trying to go private school and, you know. But we'll see, man. I. I'm enjoying it. We got, like I said, we got a good group of guys. So 
I'm looking forward to what we're gonna do this year. Facts. Is it is it a big is it a big uh, big challenge? You know, trying to talk to the guys virtually, since since y'all can't meet up. That's a big challenge this summer. It is, man. Uh, and a lot of questions. When we gonna start back up? Like when when we gonna hit the field? Is it, when we gonna be back at school? You know, these these are the questions they asking. But uh, it's tough because. You know, we can't really get out on the field. We can't really run run plays and get that infield, you know, that visualization of the concepts and, you know, defensive coverage is the whole nine, though. But uh, I can't really, you know, complain because everybody going to be behind. We're not the only ones. So everybody going to be on the same time playing field. And uh, I mean, you got to take advantage of what, what's at stake, man. And like I said, the, the Zoom actually came in clutch only because, like, these kids ain't sitting there, sitting at home playing the game you know, or wasting their time doing something that they're not supposed to be doing. You feel me? Mm-hmm. At least now we can keep them, keep them in tune on uh, uh, what to look at and be ready because time ticking. Sure. Whether they open this stuff up, man, soon or not, time ticking. For sure. For sure. Um, who, 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 who did you model your game after? Like, so who would, who was your top five receivers? Top five? Top five. No order. No order. No order. All right, let's go. Uh, all time, I'm uh, gotta say, Randy, Randy one. Uh, no order, no order. Randy, Jerry, D. Jack, college. Uh, um, Tavon Austin. And let me see, let me see. I'm a, I'm a throw, I'm a throw this sleeper in there. A lot of people probably wouldn't say. I got a bunch, man. Larry Fitzgerald, Chris Court. I go down the list, but I'm gonna say Percy Harvin, dog. That's my cat. That's my cat. That's that Percy and Percy D. Jack and Tavon was the three that I kind of modeled my game after. You know what I'm saying? Started with uh my boy D. Jack gonna always be number one. That's gonna be my favorite receiver to the end of time. You know what I'm saying? But me being a small receiver, hey Tavon did it for me, dog. Straight up, his junior senior year highlight tape, mainly a senior year, but that that was kind of you know I'm coming out after he came out. I'm like yeah, this 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 what I can kind of I can study you know his moves, his tactics. Um, cause that dude, he quick off the line. You know what I mean? Speed, quickness, that was my specialty. So I kind of study him a lot. You feel me? And then punt return, kick return. That's what I do. So. For sure. Who would, uh, who would be your top DBs? Since that's the people you, you one-on-one with most of the time. Who would you say your top DBs in the league? DBs in the league right now or just still? You know, right now, we already know awesome. prime time one, bro. Yeah, oh yeah, that's definitely number one. Definitely number one. Uh I like uh Pat P though too, man. Pat P. Uh who uh that's two uh let me see. Uh Darius Slay. Yeah. Slay. Uh let me see. It's a couple more, man. I could go back, man. Sante Samuel. Shoot. Uh man, we could we could really go back. I'm trying to think right now though. Uh I like Ramsey a lot. I like Ramsey. He 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 locked down. Yeah. Um, uh, it's one that I'm thinking of. I can't think off the top of my head, man. Um, uh, I know when I when I see it, I, it's gonna kill me if I don't remember this. Uh, he, he was a smaller a smaller corner, man, but he 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 retired now. But I forgot his name. Uh, man, I can't think. I like Bob Sanders too, though. I know he plays safety, but Bob Bob Sanders is one of my cats, man. We were just having this uh group discussion about Bob Sanders and. Uh, in the group chat with a couple of my guys. And I just say, I, I'm biased. Ed Reed's the best safety I've ever seen, bro. Oh, for sure. Hands down. Ed, Ed, you got to go Ed Reed, Brian Dawkins. Like, hey. And, you know, I'm an Eagles fan, so I'm going to go with my, my dog, BD, man. For sure. Um, so what is um, – what are you looking to for, you know, Central? Like you said, you're trying to put them back on the map. Um, who, the, who the head coach there now? Uh, Kerry Davis. Play yeah. for the – yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he went to Central, too. Yeah, went oh, to Central. Oh, brother? Yeah, call brother, yeah. Yeah, that's, I that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, small yeah. word up, dog. Yeah, carry good dude. Oh, that's what's up. Um, mm-hmm. so who would you say, once you got into the coaching um, coaching grounds, like, who helped you in that in that realm? Uh, keep it real, man. I'm going to say BG. Uh, yeah, he was the, the head coach of Cardinal Ritter. Mm-hmm. Man, BG helped me out a, a whole lot, man. And I don't really speak on a whole lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he know. Uh man, I was this was actually I was getting out of the CFL. You know, I tore my ACL the second time, getting out of CFL. And I actually bumped into BG at the liquor store. It's a crazy story. 
walked in the BG at the liquor store. And uh, I'm like, I'm he like, man, what you doing? I just told him, you know, I'm I'm done. I'm trying to rehab, get back, but I'm done. He's like, you want to coach? I'm gonna have a corner riddle. And I, I kept that in the back of my mental, man. And, and a couple of weeks later, I hit him up on that, on that, and he was like, hey, come out here this day. And ever since then, we went on the run. You know what I mean? And it, it he he helped me, dog. He helped me get my foot in the door to be a teacher, to get in the building. And because BJ been doing it for a long time. You yeah. know what I mean? So he he a good uh teacher to kind of go off and learn a lot from, man. And he a hell of a coach too. Yeah. Uh, but I'll say he 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 really got me started. For sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. Shout out to BG, Coach BG. Uh, where would you rank yourself in St. Louis athletes? From athletes? Yeah, so I seen the All Decade list came out. Yeah. Did you make it? I didn't, and I don't, I don't be man. Listen, I don't be buying into the hype, man. People, <laughs> critics, and and anybody that that seen me play know my game. You feel me? Anybody that played against me know my game. You feel me? So my my game will speak for itself. Then again. You speaking on a decade list. I was at the the front line. You feel me? The foundation of that decade. Right. That's 2010. We at 20 uh, 2020 now. You know that's 10 years. So yeah. A lot of people they probably ain't. You know. I mean, I ain't, I don't get into all that speculations, man. People got people be biased on what they chose, but hey, I ain't worried about it. My my record still stand. Still right. got the longest current return in state championship history. You right. feel me? So I ain't worried about it. You know, I ain't worried about it at all. Shoot, I can still line up and go. Any of them cats on that decade list want to come, come, come compete? Come on with it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, no. no, bro. Appreciate you for stopping by. I know you got to train some athletes. Appreciate you for coming by on Tough Enough TV. You got any more partners you play with? You know, the Touch League, CFL, that want to jump on, chat, chat with me, let me know. Set it up. It's all good, man. You know it's all love. Having me on, man. I'm standing tuned, best believe. All right, for sure. All right, for sure. No time to sleep. Shooting my shot like I play for the league, young nigga. Content, no days off. Stick to the plan. Stick it up. Count it up. Run through the bands, young nigga.